numerous calls for a house explosion. Received confirmed two children still trapped in the residence. Heartbreak and destruction. A young girl killed, a house flattened by a powerful explosion. How did it happen? Investigators search for the cause as a community comes together to help the survivors. Good evening. A Niagara County family is coping with unspeakable sadness and shock tonight. One minute their house was standing, the next gone. The family was inside when a devastating explosion ripped their home into pieces. And the heartache soon emerged when they discovered 14 year old Sarah Johnson did not survive. The fatal blast rocked the rural community of Wilson this morning and could be heard for miles. Our coverage began on Wake Up. We have a full team of reporters tonight, beginning with News 4's George Rickert, live from Niagara County. And George, you've been up there all day. Well, Don and Jackie, take a look behind me. A picture is worth a thousand words. Now, this is nine hours, 11 hours after the explosion. It's hard to even put into words how little is left from this explosion that happened at 6 a.m. This is such a small town and a quiet road, so much room between the houses, and frankly, if this had happened in a village or a city, it probably would have taken at least a few houses out. I, I don't honestly know how anybody could have possibly survived that. The only thing that I could think is they had actually gotten forced out by the, the blast. Just after 6 a.m., Matt Henderson awoke to a horrible sound that blew out his window. He looked out to see his neighbor's house on Chestnut Road in Wilson was gone. In the driveway was Jody Johnson, a father of five, kneeling with his head in his hands. Sitting on the grass was the mother, Judy Johnson, calling out the name Sarah. It looks like they were thrown from the house. Here in Wilson, there are no natural gas lines. Residents use propane tanks like these, and if there's a leak, it can be explosive. Officials say this appears to have something to do with a propane blast. People heard it from five miles away in Lockport. I was outside. I watched the whole, the whole front of the plaza. The windows shook. This is how the house looked before. It was built 10 years ago. There are seven in the Johnson family. Two of the children had been staying at a friend's near the lake. Two others are hospitalized along with the two parents at ECMC. But Sarah Johnson died in the blast and was found hours afterward. There was a lot of small pieces, but there there was some some rather large, uh, you know, the rafters, uh, wood, and that that they had to go through to try to recover um, Sarah. Our hearts go out to them. It's, it's unbelievable. It's tragic. You know, and you realize that anything could happen to anybody at any point in time. Now. Back here live, you see the NOCO Energy propane tank there behind the house. It is believed propane had something to do with this. Not necessarily the tank, but perhaps the connection into the house. Here's the latest what we hear about the family. Judy and Jody Johnson, the parents, as well as 16-year-old Nathan, one of the sons, are all in stable condition at ECMC. 18-year-old Katie Johnson, one of the daughters, though, remains in critical condition in the, in the burn unit at ECMC. In the burn treatment center, uh, she is in critical condition. And, of course, 14-year-old Sarah Johnson died in this blast.